Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this pre-owned 2013 Ram 1500 in silver. Now this is a two-wheel drive truck with a V6 and an eight-speed transmission. This is not. It has steel wheels. It, it's not one of those trucks that has all the bells and whistles, but it does have uh, significant features and uh, good gas mileage. See here we've got the black bumpers and the grill. It's a silver in color, steel wheels. It's got a decent tread on the tires there. Has some aftermarket steps there on the side. and take a look on this side you see it has some nice pockets in the doors it does have manual adjustments on the seats and you do have some storage behind the seats right here and these little bins pretty good size um, I mean you can you can put a rifle back there or pretty much anything Solid black, black, the back glass is solid. There's no sliding windows or anything like that. Storage compartment there, there's a little one there. Glove compartment. Another storage compartment. This is a flex fuel vehicle. You can run E85 fuel through it. it does have the towing package with the four-way and seven-way plugs right here this does have the factory spray in bed liner this is the aftermarket uh, tonneau color cover I think it's a trifold that's what it looks like. It does have some mud flaps there. Fuel cap is on the driver's side. Has like a little handy holder there. And it does remind you that on the cap that you can use E85 if you want to. Does have heated side mirrors. Go ahead and unlock the doors. The tailgate will lock and unlock with the key. Keys look like this, like so. Here's the inside of the driver door. You see it's very similar to the other side. You got your speaker pockets there, um, storage pocket there for putting something long. Storage pocket right here. Door lock controls, window controls, side mirror adjustments. You have automatic headlights. Power adjustments on the seat here. Cloth seats. Does have a tilt steering wheel. I'm going to go and hop in and start it up. Now one of the telltale signs here that it's 8-speed transmission is this shifter. That's how you shift gears. Now the steering wheel, know it has a normal steering wheel with good uh, thickness, good grip. Um, no controls on the back of the steering wheel back here, like some of them have. But you do have your cruise control here, settings, and also you can gear up and gear down using these buttons here in case you're going down a hill or something or up a hill and you need to downshift or upshift stuff like that there's your gauges now there is a, a menu system there in the middle right now it's set to speedometer I'm going to scroll through it just so you get an idea of what's in here it does have satellite radio you can go into vehicle info and you can see different information about your vehicle in the moment 
fuel economy. Let's see what it says. Average is 22.7. Now some of that is idling and stuff like that, but um, I think it gets a little bit better than that on the highway. Pretty good amount. And there's your trips and stuff. And I'm gonna put it back in speedometer. You have a, a temperature there. Um, it says 97 degrees out. I don't think it's quite that much, but I think it's because the sun is, must be shining directly on the sensor. Once you start driving around, it'll probably go to a more accurate temperature. All right, we've got a little storage pocket there. Here's your radio. Pretty basic. It does have satellite radio, though. And um, you have normal tuning knobs here. And inside here is some more inputs. You have a USB and auxiliary input. So you can play music through a cell phone or iPod or something like that through the sound system. There's your shifter again. These, these are for your climate control. They're pretty much standard on all vehicles. You have your fan control, temperature, and where you want the air to blow. Traction control, you can turn that off if you really want to fishtail or spin out or something like that. Uh, tow and haul button, you'd want to turn that on if you're pulling a heavy trailer. You have a power supply there as well as there. This right here slides out. And then you have some storage, kind of like a junk drawer, I guess you could say. Three cup holders there in the middle. And like I showed you before, you do have some inputs there, but you also have this nice storage container. And this whole thing will lift up just in case you need a, a third passenger. Some of these lift up, this one doesn't lift up. But you can have a, a center passenger here. Rear view mirror is pretty basic. No mirror in the visor there. Is one on that side. Let's look underneath the hood. Three point six liter Pentastar does have VVT, variable valve timing. That helps get the really good gas mileage. See it's uh, lots of space in there, so you can check everything out. Do any kind of maintenance. You do have a color-coded system. Everything in yellow will be things that you will check on your own. You have an insulated battery, which extends the life of the battery. Alright, there it is. If you have any questions, my email address and phone number will be in the description, and I'll see you next time.